What's up guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. And in today's video, um, I just got two packages in right here. Um, and we're gonna open them up, so let's get right into it. Alright, so we're gonna open this box first. We're gonna open this. Um, I know what it is because I ordered it, obviously, but you guys don't know what it is, so... I got the dullest knife I could possibly have, like, use, so. Okay. Alright. So. We got... Oh, okay, so they're individually the wraps. Alright. And, uh. Let's see what this is. Okay, nothing important. So, we got it wrapped in newspaper. Open up this first one. And this. Some Protect powder paint. And it came in, you know, newspaper, but like the comic section. I'm guessing that this guy is Trump. Oh, actually, where the heck the camera's aiming? that guy right there. I'm just guessing. Anyway, so we got Protect, that's what all these things are, is Protect Powder Paint. This one is the white, I'm guessing. Anyway, let's just open those real, real quick. Yep, here is my pink. Okay, so the pink one glows, as you can read right there, the pink one, and I also got this where it's like, it glows green, so, and lastly, but this one that glows green, it's like a white paint, so it looks white, but it glows green, this one, it's just, it, it's green and it glows green. So, these are all the ones that I got. Right there. And let's get into the other package. Alright, so, this, one, this one's the bag and my address is on this side, so I'm just going to open it like this, just to be safe, if this dull knife could even do anything. Inside seems to be another bag, which are tungsten teardrop jigs for ice fishing. So, if you can add all these together, I'm guessing you're guessing that. I'm going to start making some ice chigs. So, 
That's pretty neat. Um, there should be 20 in here. There should be. Um, I'm probably going to keep 5 of them for personal, personal use. And then sell the other 15 on uh, my company, Majesty's Lures. So... But actually, in this video, it's not just going to be unboxing. We're going to actually test it out. So, I'm going to read the directions on these things and get right to it. Let's go. Ooh. Do I have to do it in the garage? I'm going to not do it in the garage because it's cold outside. So, I'm going to go in the basement. See you there. Alright, so we're now in my basement. And. I brought down some of the, the newspaper that the powders are in. I'm just gonna like place it on the ground, just I guess to, as protection. I don't know. Um, jigs. The sun pump might be going, so we're gonna wait for that. I'm gonna try and open this package. All right, place that there. We got the. So I got five millimeter. Why does it say a hundred pieces? I don't know. I got five uh, millimeter. Right there. Um, so, oh, I already ripped the bag. <laughs> Oops. See if we can get one of these to get in my hand. So, this is what they look like. Actually, I'm going to count how many I got, so we'll be right back. So we did, in fact, get 20. So um, we're just going to do one demonstration because I might get more powder in the future. But I got my heat gun down that I use for my soft plastics right there. Um, so... Shall be using that instead of a whatchamacallit. It's like a it's not like a grill, but like you can hook the things onto it, if you know what I mean. Probably not. Alright. And the lighting. So we got our jig and I'm going to be using needle nose pliers. These are like the smallest ones I could find. I couldn't find anything bigger. But they'll work perfectly. So we're just going to hold it like that. And what? I got the... Oh, where is it? Where is it? Right here. So I just got like a plain white. This is going to be like my base. My base layer. And they taped up the lid. Which is probably a good idea. I'm going to untape that. Okay, so now the directions say that we gotta shake it to like br uh, fluff the paint and then preheat the metal with the um, either like a flame, a uh, oven. It's kind of like an oven. It's like one of those small ones. That's what I was trying to think of. Or a heat gun. You just gotta heat the preheat the metal basically um, for like four to ten seconds. Quickly swish into the powder and remove it, knocking off excess powder. The lure should be hot enough to melt powder within two to four seconds after removal, and then let it cool. And then after, you're supposed to let him, and then you're supposed to heat it 
for 350 degrees for 20 minutes. We're not gonna after heat it. Not, not like I don't know. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna blast it with the heat gun again. But we're gonna take off my dog's barking. Take off this access tape. Let's get it started. Son. All right. Okay. So we're gonna grab this in my left hand. I'm not left-handed. This is gonna be hard. I have my dog's barking. Hang on one second. Sorry about that. Just had to go close the door. So, anyway, I'm gonna grab it. Where's the camera right here? We're gonna just grab it like that. And then I got my heat gun. And I guess I'm just gonna heat it on high. Um, what we're just gonna do for 20 seconds, just, cause why not? We're just gonna keep rotating it too. You know what we probably should have done before we did that? Open this and shake it. Right. We're gonna shake it once again, just to make sure it's extra shaken up. I don't know if you guys can hear my dog barking in the background, but just ignore that. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna shake this up. Dip it in. Tap it off, and then heat it up again. Okay. So as you can see, it's just white. <laughs> We're gonna add obviously some more colors. I only put this in the light. Let me see what it looks like. So I covered the hole, which I guess I could probably just poke out with like another hook. Oh, I didn't harden all the way. I don't know how long I gotta let this sit. Okay. Oh. Please stand by. Okay, so I have decided to use pink powder. The glow pink powder. So we're going to shake it up just like we did with the white. Okay. We're going to heat this jig up again. And then we're gonna dip it. So my furnace decides to start going right now. We're gonna do the same process, just heat it up. And 
and then I think I'm gonna dip like half of it in. That'll probably look pretty sick. So there's that. And now we're just going to let it dry so we're just gonna I guess we'll blow on it we're gonna cap this and now I'm also gonna use my glow-in-the-dark green right now the color green and I'm gonna sprinkle that on like with my fingers just sprinkle it on so uh, we'll be right back once this dries alrighty so it should be dry as you can see I got the green open right here them to see if we can grab this left handed. Okay. And so what we're going to do, I think, is just pick some of this up and then sprinkle it on like that. But of course we have to heat it up first. just show you when it's done drying <laughs> so hang on all right so I think we're done I, just gonna, I, I just have it sitting on my tripod so yeah it doesn't I mean it doesn't look half bad I mean this is just for myself so I would for sure use it and now let's like it just ha it has like neon pink at the top and then like neon green all around it so yeah that's that's what it looks like um for my first time doing powder paints I like it it's, it's really fun I feel like I need, I, I want to get more of these and then maybe one of those oven things so I can like finish this. But like I can touch it now. Um, 
it's just the only bad thing is is the eye it's like sealed over with the paint so I'd have to come in with like another one of these and poke the hole out other than that I think I did good. I mean, um, let's see. I like it. Let's see if I can actually hang on. Go something like this. Camera. So that's what it looks like right there. Um, I'm gonna get more of these powders for sure. This is this is really fun. I'm gonna make some of these, but yeah. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for uh, today's video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, here is the final jig again, right there. I'm gonna try to use this. When I go ice fishing, I was supposed to go yesterday, but the wind picked up, so I didn't go. So, who knows when I'm going to use this. But we're going to use it, because that would be pretty cool to catch something on something that you have made. Which, I mean, I'm used to because I have a lure company, and I use my own lures. But, one of these, a jig. that I, I didn't really make it. I painted it myself, I guess you could say. But, like... Yeah, anyhow, thank you for watching the video, guys. Please leave a like and subscribe if you're new. This was on the longer end. Um, I don't know how long it's going to be. Uh, probably 15 minutes, if not more. So, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, use code TRICKIN10, all uppercase, at majestyslures.square.site. It's everything. All my links are going to be in the description. So, thank you for watching, and peace.